Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. A new study has found that a particular vitamin can reverse some of the negative effects of aging. The study, conducted at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne, found that nicotinamide riboside, or NR, a form of vitamin B3, has a revitalizing effect on the cellular functions of aging mice. NR is similar to a molecule that is necessary for the functioning of the mitochondria, often called the powerhouse of the cell. Older mice that received NR demonstrated significantly better muscle regeneration and lived longer than mice that didn't receive the NR therapy. No negative side effects have been observed yet, but the researchers caution against getting too excited. NR seems to improve the function of all cells, including harmful ones. Still, cautious optimism seems warranted. NR has also been shown to have a restorative effect on the cells of the brain and the skin. The researchers behind this study stress that administering NR merely restores the body's natural ability to repair and regenerate its own cells, which is naturally diminished with age as stem cells become fatigued. The study is published in the journal Science. Next up, researchers have demonstrated that tablet computers loaded with literacy apps can have a significant positive effect on the reading skills of children in economically disadvantaged areas. A team of researchers from MIT, Tufts University, and Georgia State University reported the findings of their four-year study last week at the Association for Computing Machinery's Learning at Scale Conference. Three separate trials were conducted. Tablets loaded with educational apps designed to improve early childhood literacy were distributed to children in a rural area of Ethiopia, a suburban school in South Africa, and a school in the rural United States. Children who used the tablets scored much better on tests than those without the tablets. The students in the American trial showed major improvements after only four months. The tablets were made available to children to use at their own pace without instructions on how to use them. By watching them discover how to use the apps on their own, the researchers were able to observe not merely what the children were learning, but how they were learning it. This program has been expanded from the original three trials to schools in Bangladesh, Uganda, India, and other locations in the U.S., and there are plans to expand it even farther. And finally, astronomers have discovered a frozen asteroid that may be a remnant from the formation of our solar system. The object, called C2014 S3 Pan Stars, and I'll just call it S3, okay, was originally thought to be a comet. After closer examination, astronomers found that S3 bears the characteristics of an asteroid typical of the inner solar system. The cometary activity they detected is the result of water ice melting as the asteroid travels closer to the sun after spending a very, very long time in the frozen outer edge of the solar system, the region known as the Oort cloud, from which long-period comets are thought to originate. Unlike other inner solar system asteroids, which have been exposed to the light and heat of the sun, S3 has been preserved in a more or less pristine state for billions of years. It's the first rocky object discovered originating from the Oort cloud, and is essentially a time capsule from the time when the inner planets, including Earth, were still forming a truly incredible find. The paper on S3 is published in the journal Science Advances. A vitamin can restore cell functions lost to the aging process. A new study proves that tablet computers loaded with literacy apps can be a big help in teaching economically disadvantaged children to read. And astronomers discover a frozen relic from the early days of our solar system. That's the good news. Hey folks, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and share it and subscribe to this channel if you're not subbed already. And also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.